Welcome back. So does anyone else feel like this summer is kind of a little deja vu situation to 2020 in some ways? You know, like curve COVID cases are surging again. Mask mandates are coming back. Murder hornets are back. Oh, yeah. Murder hornets are back. It all started earlier this month. Someone living in Blaine, Washington. That's off I-5 near the border with Canada. They took this picture here of a hornet attacking a wasp's nest on their property. They sent that picture to the Washington State Department of Agriculture, and they then confirmed yes. This is a murder hornet. They're actually called Asian giant hornets, but the nickname the murder hornet, it's a lot scarier and more fun to say. This is what scientists say uh, they saw the hornets doing when they tracked them down. And we, we should warn you, it's kind of a, a graphic and frightening description. An entire group of hornets then attacked one of the larger paper wasp nests and the behavior they uh, exhibited was they were simply grabbing all of the paper wasps and chopping their heads off, dropping to them to the ground, and then harvesting, uh, you know, uh, from that paper wasp nest. It's actually described as as the slaughter phase behavior uh, that, uh, you know, obviously we are worried about with our honeybee population. So, I mean, I guess I would have to say, yes, that was slaughter behavior. My God, slaughter behavior and hornets that are two inches long. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Scientists quite understandably want to get rid of each and every one of these slaughter behaving hornets like yesterday, mainly because they prey on honeybees, which you heard him talking about there. It's a big implication for our food production. We like our honeybees. We need them. So they were able to dress in outfits that look like they should be going to Mars and instead track down this nest inside a decaying tree in Whatcom County, which is very, very different from Mars. Actually, the scientists were ready to use a vacuum to suck them out of that tree and then destroy them. But the murder hornets, they weren't going out that easily. Upon starting our vacuuming, uh, unfortunately, uh, because the tree was so rotted away, the hornets were able to uh, exploit this and create a second opening and did come out. Uh, our safety gear uh, worked very well in this instance. Uh, a few of us who were working very tight in the area uh, were approached by the hornets and they did actually attempt to sting us this time. Uh, but we're all very happy to say that our, our hornet suits uh, worked very well. Okay, so they're hornet suits, not, not something from Mars. I'm sure they would work both ways. The scientists say this nest had about three times as many hornets as the one they found in Washington last year, and they were much more aggressive. As you heard them talking about, they tried to sting them, and they are crafty. They put a tracker on one of them, well, on a few of them. You see them doing it right there because they want to see where they go, if they go back to different nests, stuff like that. But that one got the tracker off. OK, they're stripping the trackers off. They have traps set up to try and catch more. It might be lurking around somewhere to find where some other ones might go. So far, this is the only report of the Department of Agriculture having of murder hornets this year. But they say there are a lot of suitable land, a lot of areas up there where they could be hiding out. It's a little bit too rugged for most people to see them. So they're back now.